really an honor to be here. Thank you in particular for setting this up and all of that. Um, so let's see here. We have a little button. Awakening arts. Arts awakening the artists and art as a means of awakening. This is a few of uh, probably about a hundred things I can think about that have to do with the art, the arts and how they help us to transform ourselves internally, how we can oh, go through deep and profound processes that bring us to wholeness, but also how important it is in the world that we're in right now because we're in a time of climate change, which is something that I'm involved with, and that to me also means world change. This is a time when we are changing paradigms, changing the way that we think and feel and see and perceive um, very rapidly. And creativity is something that is inherent in all of us. And it's time for it to be awakened from its dormant state. So what I do actually in my work is play with art and creativity as a means of opening the channel for each one of us to become more uh, powerfully flowing the divine and creative energy that is filled with inspiration, super conscious solutions, ways of doing and thinking that are beyond, not in negation of, but beyond the rational mind. I want to start, so I don't run out of time, <laughs> with the thing that is most important to me, which is this performance piece, and I'm not seeing how to make it play, so can you help me with that? That's the and so while she's doing that, and hopefully making this, yeah, okay, yeah, hopefully making that play. Is it just empty? No. Okay. Um, I will just say that this was a wonderful opportunity I had recently to create a multimedia performance piece that happened at Fintorn, which is a spiritual community in Scotland, during a conference on climate change and consciousness. So I'll be quiet while we watch it. Archetypal ritual theater it is a transition of consciousness. That you just did. We are exploring the deepest issues of our times using the morality of the arts that's out. So I don't know if you can, if you guys can fix it, that would be great. And otherwise, I'll keep talking about it. Um, and so it was an interesting process because it took place over a two year period and it started with a deep dreams and images that were coming from the inside, that were in, in, erupting from inside. And I didn't even know how this was going to manifest. I'm like, what is this? It's a performance piece. Where am I going to do it? Well, what's it going to be? But as usual, thank you. We can stop it for a second. Mythic archetypal. Um, I'll play this. As usual, uh, in this process, once it starts coming out of you, the universe also opens all the doors and it begins to unfold. So the next thing you know, I meet the woman who started the conference and here we are going. And in a two-year process, we worked with over 20 people from f nine different continents and we came together in this place. Oh, it went off again? Okay, next time it comes on, I won't stop it. <laughs> Go, baby. That's okay. Better that than nothing. There we go. So I'm going to be quiet. We're going to watch the blue screen. <laughs> Archetypal ritual theater is a transmission. Okay. Do you want to help one more time? I think she knows. She got it? She got it? Okay. Okay. Great. Okay. Um, and at the conference, there were actually about 300 people uh, from 40 different countries. And it was a, a remarkable experience. But what I really want to say about it is that in this time of climate change, in this time of changing worlds, it's the arts and it's the visionary consciousness that can really open the aperture to what is already streaming toward us. And creativity is something that every one of us has to activate because creativity moves us into the space where we don't know what's happening, where we are in a space that's no longer informed by everything that happened before, that's no longer brought into being from history, but is drawing from the unknown. And so if in this changing world, our capacity to bring alive our creative uh, channel is what is going to make the difference. Here we go. Now, we'll be quiet. Mythic archetypal ritual theater is a transmission of consciousness. We are exploring the deepest issues of our times using the modality of the arts that's outside the conscious rational mind. 
Climate change is world change. That world change can be a journey that we have to take as individuals and collectively. All of us in the ensemble are working together to create a vibration, a frequency, an experience. So we often start rehearsals with prayer, meditation, affirmation, tuning in to create a resonance with each other.
happening in this process was the actual on-site transformative process of the ensemble. But another part of it was sharing something that I think is a really important idea for our times, um, which is that the kind of hope that we really need in these times is not a hope that says all of these things that are coming down the pike aren't going to happen, a kind of hope that says, oh, we're going to be fine, we can just keep consuming as usual and the world will be fine. Um, the hope that we need is one that comes on the other side of a breakdown of civilization as we know it. This is how I see it. And so I think we need to be reaching into a kind of myth and a kind of story and a kind of fables and ways, new stories, that can take us through that territory to the other side of it, rather than hoping, oh gosh, I hope it won't happen. It's happening. Climate change is a verb. It's climate changing. And there is something on the other side of that. There are ways of being together as human beings in the midst of all this coming down that make a new world possible. And so I really believe that it's part of the role of the arts and what Bertrand was showing too, you know, that immersive environment from me to we. It's part of the role of the arts to shift us out of a way of being that is rerunning commercials of a world that we've been imbibing and consuming, you know, watching television hitting us with a lot of images showing us how we're supposed to look and smell, to an inner, inwardly generated vision of a future that may not be roses for a while, it could be pretty hard, but there's something in it that is alive and vibrant and brings us to a new kind of world, a new way of living and being with each other. And so that's my hope with the arts. And um, I'm skipping the rest of my long show because I think I'm at the end here. But I thank you very much. And I appreciate uh, your being here. And I also would like to switch gears now to our panel. And we're going to have an opportunity for all of us to come up and you can ask us questions. <laughs>